Hiya. We're here, and we're gonna play Goat Simulator Deluxe. Satisfactory. Uh, I, uh, I thought it was funny. Let's move on to our pre-mission brief, and uh, what our plan is for this uh, build. Uh, I think, uh, ultimately, we're going to have our factory up in this area here. Uh, probably have the main factory here with power generation probably over here. <clears throat> I'm thinking about, about putting a bootstrap plant somewhere around here because we can take advantage of this deep water. Um, probably going to take advantage of these two deep water um, areas to kind of bring, um, try to get a, a bunch of head lift to our main um, supply lines. And we might sneak the water supply through here, maybe, to get back out over here. We'll kind of decide that as it goes. And uh, our main supply bus, our main supply line, uh, we're going to use trains. Because I haven't really used trains before. Um, I haven't played since December 5th, 2020, uh, when I opened up the last uh, Fixmas uh, advent calendar thingy doodad. Um, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to have our train coming in through here like this. Coming out that way. We'll pick up the oil this way. And end out this way with branches coming off of here. Maybe some branches coming into the swamp area. I might make it a full loop. I haven't really decided if I want to do that yet. If it is a full loop, I might just have one track. Uh, but if we are going to have a... Um, if we're going to end it out over here... Uh, and over here and not try to meet up around here, it's going to be a two-track system with a loop back somewhere around here. But, if it is going to be a loop in this no man area here, I'm probably going to come off uh, the main... The main line's going to come down here. And I may jump this chasm here, or I may come over here and hug the wall to come back out over onto um, this spillway here, because this whole thing... I think I think this is lower down here, and this is a floodplain here, I think. Yeah, and then this, this floods down over here. Um, but if, if I come across here, come back up over here, when I get over onto this side, I'm going to hug the cliff base going across to try to make it look realistic so that we'll have support beams coming out of the, um... Uh, the rock face to hold the uh, uh, to hold the track in place, and if we do that, then I'm probably going to have a um, a side track coming over here, but only in one direction. So we're gonna I'm gonna have like a, a a branch off coming up into the main line, join the main line to come back. Uh, probably in over here. That's pretty far, but uh, the supply. This is oil down here, so the 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 oil supply um, uh, train will come out over here, dump on a main depot, turn around, and come back to get back into the into the its uh, um, its staging area, so that we we don't have to have some kind of complicated loop back. We won't we won't have a uh, um, a station just like sitting in the middle of nowhere. The only other alternative I can see is if I bring the entire main line in and have um, a station here. But I don't want to do that because then we'd have to have like a pretty big loop here. I want to make it uh, as realistic as possible. <clears throat> so that may not happen. And coming in through here uh, with the main track, nah, I don't think I want to do that. That would be I suppose if we're going to stick around here, it wouldn't be any different to come around here, you know, to uh, bring the track up like that. But then we'd have to, um, yeah, well, I guess we could go over this chasm here. 
Because this is like an animal depression. There's like two uh, guys, two, um, I don't know what they're called, but the, the monster guys. And this is coal up here. So if we come out over here, we might go under this archway to make it look nice. And we will span this, um, this chasm, maybe? Uh, and then we can have like a suspension bridge type thing across here. Or, if we're going to go up into this valley and, and dump ourselves out into the, um, into this flood bowl... See, I don't want to. I don't want to go down this slipway with the train. Ah, oh, that was wet. Sorry. I don't want to go down to this slipway with the train. Eh, maybe it'll look nice. I don't know. We'll decide when the time comes. If we come out this way with the with the train, there might be a few places here we can slip by easily, but it would be very very loopy, and I don't think there's enough room for two tracks here. We might come down to one track and have a um, 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 a crossover somewhere to bring the two tracks in. <clears throat> or we can come up uh, onto this plane here. And we'll come, we can come across, I think there's gas, um, a gas forest here. But then we'd have to go up high to jump across here. So, <clears throat> this is not an ideal situation to get in over here. If we just skirt the edge, then uh, we can have uh, we can have cutoffs coming in and out. I don't know. We'll decide. But where we're going to land is in this area, and then I'm just going to take up, um, you know, my 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 normal spot over here to. Uh, uh, start my my basic beginner production base <clears throat> and then eventually when we get like tier six or tier seven or something like that when we get up to the point where we're gonna start uh, wanting oil um, we might start moving over here but again you'll I will need the uh, the saber whatever the hell that's called and probably a um, rebar gun just so that I can fight the more advanced monsters over here and get rid of those goddamn fireflies, because they're annoying. Okay, let's get on the map. So we're going to do a new game. Um, I won't bother. I have a I have an old game from last year. I'm not going to bother showing it because it's an old. Uh, it's a, a a pretty old save, and I was doing stupid things on it. So let's call this the big build. Cool. Private session. Uh, we're going to do the intro. Let's watch the intro. Attention, Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. I think we're androids. Planet I planet. think Please we're androids of the CEO. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, Three, two, one. Planetfall procedure initialized.
ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Yay! Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akicha. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations! Note. Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to, onboarding. First objective. Please dismantle the dropod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. All important fix it data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. I'm a flower, don't bug me. Okay. Okay, where are we here? I think this is the animal plane, or the thing that I call the animal plane. I think. And there's the two waterfalls. And there's the flood basin over there. And the slipway is over there, I think. Are you still pretending to be a flower? No, you're not. Oh, no, there's water there. Uh oh. Oh, why can't I tab? Let me tab! What, I can't tab until I, I build the goddamn hub? You bastard. There's a coal over there. Yep, there's coal down there. So, uh, come on. Stop ignoring my inputs. Here's a little forest that we're going to completely obliterate in the future. Here's another birdie bird. So, we're going to come this way. Along here. Run over the bird. Little bit of a stank forest. Okay, and here's obnoxious rock. Okay, and we're where I want to be. Ah, and my keyboard is ignoring my inputs again. Yeah, thanks. Fuck. Come on, let me go up there. Can I punch? I can't punch even. Okay, let's put on... Nope. Let's get this. Come on. Push Q! Fine. Whatever. There. Let's see you get over here, bastard. Okay. Now... Let's do the tutorial. Um... Come on. Second objective. 
Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note. According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Great. Now can I have the tab button? Thank Third you. Objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. I'm pushing V. I'm pushing V. There we go. Ada, do you really have to disable my suit while you tell me this? Uh, the locations. Oh, I think what I have to do is I actually have to mine some ore. Uh, for the, the, the thing to continue. You are a dick. Fourth you objective. are... Build the hub. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Okay, gotta get used to the attack pattern. Come on. Hey, I jumped over you. Dick. You're dead. Okay, where's the other guy? Oh, I killed the other guy. And it's not the battery. Uh, I put fresh batteries in, and it still ignores my inputs on occasion. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's cheap. That's what's wrong with it. I would use a wired keyboard, but I keep destroying them. Uh, will that go away if I put the hub on top of there? No. Okay, we'll have to get to... We'll have to wait until we get the run of done done to get that. Congratulations. So. You have unlocked... Hub feature, manual craft bench. Hub feature, hub terminal. Fifth objective, complete hub upgrade one. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Thank you, Ada. You're annoying, but uh, let's find a paperclip. Look around the desk for a paperclip. Is there a paperclip in here? Yeah, I found a paperclip. <laughs> Insert paperclip into mouse. Disengage paperclip. Uh, okay, we need ten of these. Is Ada going to tell me something? Congratulations. Okay. You have unlocked building, workshop, equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade to note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note. Multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Thank you, Ada. That's, um, very informative of you. Thank you. Okay, let's create a equipment workbench. We need six and four. Engage paperclip. Disengage paperclip. Okay, we need six of these guys. And four of these guys. Or it's the other way around, I can't remember. Good, good, good. And now we're going to add a bunch of portable... Thingamabobbers. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five. We need five. Oh, that's not close enough. Now yeah, we'll fix it later. Portable meaners. Why am I not getting any iron? I should get iron from hitting those. Ah, there we go. the iron. Oh well, there we go. So, uh, basically what I made it do to um, automatically mine like this is that I was holding E while I was opening and closing the um, uh, the tab menu, and eventually it glitches and it just lets you keep pounding. And you can keep pounding and look at different things. But I think if I walk off of the node, it will stop trying to mine and it will reset the... Um, uh, the thing. Uh, that kind of mindless um, uh, processing doesn't work for other spots. Like for here, I actually have to put a paper clip underneath the, uh, the mouse button. And then I can... Just set the mouse aside <clears throat> and lean back uh, and pretend that I'm the CEO of a company, a.k.a. do nothing and pretend that I'm important. Mr. Vaporclip, thank you for your dutiful service, uh, but we are attempting to optimize redundancies and we are going to have to let you go. We'd love to give you a severance package. Unfortunately, that's not just that's just not in the package uh, the, the budget right now. But what we will allow you to do is to continue to have your health insurance for the next six weeks. Thank you. Please clear out your desk. Okay, now we need rod. Rod complete. And now we're going to do. Did I make enough of these? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, so let's get back over here. Just to deploy these before we continue on opening up stuff. We'll put some over here. Yeah, you guys can keep going for now. Okay, we need eight more rod. So seven more rod. Cool. And launch. Huh? And... Or, I guess, build. da da, -da! Okay, so we need copper now. You have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. 
Cool. Seventh objective. Complete hub upgrade three. Note. Connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note. Buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to set. Advice. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Ha 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 ha, dick. I didn't hear what Ada told me. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I didn't get her advice. I think I'm gonna change sprint to toggle. Because I never not have sprint on. Okay, we'll do that later, because I can hear him growling. There we go. Come on! Where are ya? Oh, 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 choppy, choppy! There we go. Where'd he go? Oh, I wanted to gloat over his body. Ah, uh, you ruined my bit. Stupid thing. Okay, well, let's set down this miner uh, while I continue to look for the option to change it to toggle sprint. Okay, now we're permanently sprinting. And we'll do the, um, the E button thing. Trick. Thank you, E button. Uh, but we are uh, attempting to optimize redundancies. Blah, blah, blah. Get the fuck out of my office. What's this? Okay, that's nothing. Home sweet home. Uh, now we will hire uh, <clears throat> Paperclip's son. Uh, because Paperclip is now old, and uh, we no longer want him. He's over 40. Now, there's no place There's no place in corporate, uh, uh, the corporate world for somebody who's over 40. we got to be young go-getters that are thirsty for cash and desperate to do anything. Paperclip Jr., as you know, um, you were on temporary contract with us. Um, we will keep your name on file. But since your contract is up, um, we'll call you. Thanks. Get the fuck out of my office. Okay, here we go. Let's get some copper wire. And we'll get some rod. And we'll get some iron sheets. And we'll do Ada's bidding. Because Ada is probably an AI of the CEO. What do we got? What did we unlock? I never really look. So, uh, miner equipment inventory, smelter ingots wire, constructor pole stuffins. Uh, this one is conveyor. I don't know what the next one is. But, let's go grab one of the miners that we made. You have unlocked scanner feature limestone. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Oh, there Eighth might be objective. a guy over there. Complete hub upgrade 4. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Come on. Oh, he surprised me. Oh, miscalculated. There we go. There we go. Now we're probably going to have to make a bunch of manual uh, or um, portable miners for up here because um, this node uh, can't supply a constructor with enough uh, material for it to work full time. So we can augment that with just manually shoving uh, um, ore into the extractor and the miner uh, just to keep it at uh, full operation. 
And then later on, we can just stick it into the bus. Oh, no, that's not what we want to do. There we go. And I... Even though I set it to uh, toggle... Ooh, what's that? Oh, there's nothing. Even though I set it to toggle, I keep pushing the... Uh, uh, I keep pushing the sprint key. Okay, so, uh, uh, Paperclip Jr., um, you're going to have to come back for the piecework. Unfortunately, uh, because uh, the we have, we've, we're suffering an economic downswing, we're going to have to bring you it back at a reduced rate. Um, so we can only pay you 75% uh, of your former uh, contract value. So uh, please rejoin the team and have a nice day. Um, and there's no more free coffee. Uh, we've replaced the coffee maker with a K-cup uh, thing. Um, and the K-cup dispenser um, is a, a dollar per K-cup. Uh, thank you, and please enjoy your time. That actually happened at a place I worked. Okay, we'll release you from your contract again, uh, uh, Paperclip Jr. And we'll just get grab some resources here. There. And uh, I think we need... What do we need? We need... We already have that. And we need plates. There we go. Hi, Ada. Let's hear your dulcet tones. Ah. They're coming? Congratulations. You have unlocked building, conveyor belts, and poles. Inventory, additional slots. Ninth objective. Complete hub upgrade 5. Note, portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice, when planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. I would like to note the, con uh, the placement of conveyor belts, but they actually only uh, go in one way. Unless, it's, uh, uh, unless there's two outputs, then they go in two ways. Some people are more talented and they can go in three ways. Here we go. Congratulations, you have unlocked Building Miner Mark 1 Building Storage Container Hub Feature Additional Biomass Burner 10th Objective Complete Hub Upgrade 6 Note, oh. there are no notes Thank you uh, If you didn't tell me that there was no notes I would have been seriously concerned that there would be some notes But since they tell me that there are no notes Then I will know that there are no notes And I will not note it So I need 10 sheets. I don't have any more concrete. Okay, whatever. Let's go grab some... Stop pushing the sprint button. Let's go grab some concrete mix. Limestone, whatever. Look at you burring away here, you... You gross little thing. Okay, and we'll grab you. Pull you off of that uh, resource node. And then we will make a... Uh, miner? Pointed at me. Do I want to put it at me? Yes. Is there a way... No, that's not it. That's not it. There's supposed to be a way... What the hell is that? Oh, I can change the... Um... The toolbar. But I thought there was a way you can turn things on a smaller gradient. Where is that? Hide the hub. Snap. Rotate. No. Okay, I guess there's no way to... Um, have it... Um, increment smaller amounts when it's rotating. I thought there was. That may be one of the mods. So we want a smelter, and we're going to need more rebar, iron bar, whatever it's called. That's fine. Okay, we want you to be close. Close, come on, close. Get close. Come on. There. And I hope I have... I don't have enough. Whatever. Oh, that wasn't very... Uh, 
Yeah, I don't like that. That uh, that hurts my my sensibilities. We are going to rebuild that because that wasn't completely straight. Uh, not straight as in the sexuality way, but straight as in pointed directly at the thingy. And it has to be pointed directly at the thingy, or I will die. My brain will kill me, and there is nothing I can do about it. There. Now it's straight. The world will not end. Uh, we'll put you right here. We'll put you right here. And we'll program you for ingots. And we will connect you to that one. Now, do I have access to the biomass? No, I don't. Biomass is the next, uh, the next tier, so... We'll just burn some leaves for now. Burning leaves! That's up and running. Cool. Now, can I make a constructor? No, we'll wait on the constructor. Uh, and we will make... Do we want to make another one over there, or do we want to go for... Okay, we need to unlock... We're going to do uh, um, uh, that thing that I was looking at, that I'll remember the name of in a second. Oh, we got storage. I thought we didn't get storage until later. Oh, crap. We need, we need an iron plate for this. I hate making screws. Oh. It's a pain in the ass to do screws manually. Actually, it's a pain in the ass to do anything manually, but whatever. So the cake up thing was actually an interesting uh, little ordeal. That the um, uh, there was a coffee maker in the office. Actually, I think there were several coffee makers, and there was one of those big, big ones, the big silver ones that you usually see at at uh, like um, catered events. Whatever. Um, and then there was, like, pot coffee, and somebody had brought in a French press, or things like that. And one day, they were all thrown out. They were all removed from the office, and this um, coin-operated um, K-cup thing came in. Now, the K-cup dispenser, not the K-cup dispenser, but the, the actual coffee maker thing, did not have um, a coin, um, thing on it. But, oh, I should, uh, yeah, I should put the, is this, what is this? Is this pure or impure? That's impure too. Is this a little closer? Yeah, I think this is a little closer. Um, but to get the hay cups out, you had to put, um, you had to use coins. Now, you could bring your own cake cups into the office, but, um, Somebody else brought in uh, another uh, drip coffee maker. Somebody who doesn't drink coffee at all. That was absolutely not me, but totally me. Um, and it kept getting thrown out. And I kept bringing a new one in. Like, I bought, like, the really cheap Walmart thing. And, like, every week I'd put a new one in. Until finally there was a, a memo that was... Um, that was populated around saying that we were not allowed to bring in our own machines and um, bullcrap like that. And it was super stupid. I think they said something like ridiculous like it was a it was a, a fire hazard or something like that. And they didn't seem to care when I organized uh, to buy a case of K-Cups. So we bought, I organized everybody to chip in some money and we bought a case of K-Cups and there's like a gross of K-Cups inside this box. And that didn't seem to bug them, but for some reason, we absolutely had to use the K-Cup machine. And I don't know why. It's one of those office politics things, the weird things that executives try to make you do, and you're, like, scratching your head wondering why I think 
they had like stock and and Keurig or something. It's the only thing that made sense. Oh, and the same place flipped out um, when I would buy cases of drinks to bring into the office. Like, I don't do anything. I have no um, hobbies or things like that. So when I, but I'm a, I'm an obsessive worker. I'm a workaholic. So I end up making quite a bit of money, but nothing to spend it on. So, like, I spend it on friends and stuff like that. And I do really stupid things like buy drinks for the whole office. So they had three drink machines there. And I would bring in cases of drinks and, like, leave them around the office. And once they stuck the drinks into the drink machine, I think... Or they disappeared. I think that they went into the drink machine or something. But, um, yeah, stuff like that happened. Oh, but they got really mad at me bringing in the drink machines. I, I, I'm not sure if they owned the drink machines. Uh, drinking, bringing in, um, um, cases of drinks for the drink machines. I'm not sure if they, if they owned the drink machines or if they had a contract with somebody who, um, own the like rented the least the the spot for the for the vending machine and he was pissed off that uh, nobody was buying from them but i'm i super like undermining people like that i'm just i'm just a big bitch okay here we go now we're working up some stuffings now for this guy we will try to there we go try to get on the the top of the machine We'll do our constructor uh, a little further away because we have a slant there. Oh, that's right. I was going to do it over there. Okay, let's move it. I guess it doesn't super matter which location I put it in, but uh, putting it here means that I can use the um, power line that I'm going to use to go up there. For the uh, for the cop for the uh, copper, and I will probably have to run it undone that uh, uh, that tree right there, and get up this freaking ladder. Right there. Oh, I had uh, a suspicion that it might be too close, but it is not. So let's put this power pole as far this way as possible. We'll put it right there. Oh, I, I did the wrong thing. I pushed the wrong button. There. And we'll go right here. I think that's good enough. And then we'll walk this back over to the hub. And we'll put it right here, I guess. We'll get rid of this line. And I, of course, forgot to do this. Concrete. There. So it requires 15 per minute, and I will be giving it 30 per minute. Oh. Why is that one slower? This required 30 per minute, and the uh, and these nodes here outputted 15. I guess I got that wrong. Oh well. Let's continue on over here. Our power grid should be uh, pretty close to maxed out right now.
And it's not, so whatever. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to put the... Um, uh, we want to get the um, copper up and running. So we'll need... Oops, no. We'll need two constructors. One, two. And a smelter. And a miner. And that will... Oops. And that will definitely bring our... Um, whoops. Oh no, we can go grab it on the way by. Uh, that will definitely bring our... What does this need? Oh, more friggin' screws. Now this will absolutely max out our power grid. Probably. I actually don't remember. Okay, no, I'm reading this wrong. It takes 45 limestone... Um, and so we're, we're 15 behind, and that's why I need to have a, um, a manual miner beside it to keep the, um, uh, keep the production up to full power until I can, like, join it with other, um, source lines. There was also a whole thing where I wanted to... I started bringing in sandwiches for people and cheesecakes and things like that. And for some reason it irritated the fuck out of the, out of the executives. I have no idea why. Or I'd... Ha I'd, I'd like the, uh, the front end office would uh, be constantly... Um, ordering lunch and not asking like anybody else that was... Uh, working in other parts of the uh, of the building, uh, if they wanted to, uh, if they wanted lunch as well. Uh, so then I would start like getting people, organizing people together, so that we could all get, um, we can all go in on lunches and things like that, and pool our money. And it and it really irritated the salespeople and the executives. And. To this day, I don't really know why. Too long. I can hear somebody behind me. Where is he? There he is. Oh! Ah. Oh, I thought he was dead! Jackass. Did I put a smelter down? I didn't put a smelter down. That was dumb of me. I was coming up here because I knew I forgot I, I knew I forgot to set the uh, recipes, but I also forgot to put a smelter down. And will I edit that right in here so that I don't look like a complete idiot? Absolutely not. There. Is that the right way? Yeah, I think that's the right way. Now we're going to put a constructor on here. Just sort of center ourselves so that the output will be centered. Is that the right way? Yes, it is the right way. I don't know why I'm... I'm so concerned that it's not the right way, because... Obviously the right way. There we go. And we'll join you pretties up. We'll put you on cable. And we'll put you on wire. And we'll put you on copper. And we will get up here somehow. Oh no! Damn. That sucked. 
And the front end people never once ate anything I brought in. Ever. I brought in a bunch of personal sized cheesecakes for everybody. Um, it was probably cherry and blueberry. Cherry is my favorite and everybody loves blueberry. Or most people can stand blueberry. Um, and I think I brought like 30 or 40 of them in. And everybody else ate them except for anybody who was making over like 100,000 a year. Everybody who was making over 100,000 a year wouldn't touch it. Everybody under 1,000, 100,000 a year ate it. But I can also see why people don't like the manual labor crowd. Like the warehouse guys, whenever I, I bought uh, food for the place or I, got, I brought drinks in or condiments or or anything for the office. Um, they were always pissy about it. They always took it. They always ate it. They always took the drinks. They even took drinks home and shit like that. But they were always pissy about it. Always. They were never not pissy about it. Just the normal fuckers who were like... I don't want to say normal fuckers. And I, I apologize for grouping people. Who were like, you know, m the middle income bracket people as normal. Middle income bracket people are just as likely to be not normal as uh, everybody else. But um, we seem to be the ones that weren't, that weren't you know, um, irritable all the time. The, the guys making more money were just people you wanted to kill on a daily basis and the uh, people making less money were the ones that were just irritable constantly. Usually. There were exceptions, of course. Okay, cool. Now let's join these back up. Why? I'm not going back down. Oh! Fine, I'm going back down. Dickhead. Actually, that's the wrong one. This is the one. No, I still need more plate for that. Okay, either this is going to be right at the outer edge of what this power grid can deal with, or it's going to be fine. And I think it's going to be fine. Okay, so uh, now we've got our copper production. We've got um, um, those guys going. The... Uh, the uh, concrete took me way too long to remember the word concrete. Let's also make a few uh, portable miners to put beside the uh, the limestone here, the limestone node, so that we can juice up the node every now and then. There we go. Keep that constantly running. And I think if I were to grab the um, the iron from here, it would peek out our grid. And I think that's what this line is up here. Unless that means max connections. Oh well, let's find out. Okay, so I guess uh, our okay no okay that's our that's our generation capacity, uh, that's our usage capacity, which um, that should friggin' say like usage capacity or something, or a Mac whatever, it should be it should be termed a little better. So okay, we got that we got all that worked up we got that worked up, um, so let's just go on to grab the um, the concrete out of this constructor and then we should have enough after I process uh, the stuff that I have in my inventory to be able to open up this next tier hey okay, here we go I didn't have enough I had to go grab more but that's fine okay cool there it is 
Congratulations, you have unlocked Building Space Elevator, Building Biomass Burner, Heart Biomass. Motivational Message Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Additional knowledge, the hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Note, it's all future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and as such initiating project assembly. Good luck. It's nice to play a game that has been, um, you know, carefully and thoughtfully programmed and constructed. And yeah, that is a that is a, a slam against uh, stationers. So, what are we going to go first? This mic macro manager is the um, a mod that I installed that'll just allow you to move things around or rotate them or do stuff. Um, and I just want that because I think that should be part of the game, but it's not. Uh, we don't need the MAM right away. We don't need all of this stuff right away. I would like the splitter and the merger. I don't really care about any of this stuff for now. Uh, it would be kind of stupid to move on to Tier 2 Logistics. Awesome sync we don't need. Jump pads I never create. Ah, we need the run of dun dun That's what we need. We'll build the run of dun dun Oh, does that also give us um, uh, biomass? What gives us biomass? Okay, no, that gives us solid biofuel. That's the one that we want. So I'm... I, okay, we do have biomass. Okay, good. Because we need to um, increase our um, our efficiency of these bio burners, even though we're probably only going to use them for another couple of hours at most. Let's clear out some stuff from our inventory. That's not... Okay, we're going to clear out this. There. Let's collect some more leaves for a cute little minute here. There we go. Now we have enough biofuel to get these things up and running again. Biomass. I'm sorry. And we'll turn this back on. And we'll empty everybody out. Okay, so here we go for this to fill this up. We'll drop it in here first. And then we'll drop it in here. Ah, uh, there we go. So that should now bring this up to 100%. It is, and that should last for as long as uh, until those guys fully um, uh, fully uh, they fill again, and then I notice them. Because, of course, everything is predicated on me uh, remembering that they exist, which doesn't always occur. Hey, big guy. I'm going to grab you. There. And since um, making screws is probably the most annoying and obnoxious thing to do, even when it is completely automated, that is the first product line we're going to branch into is to make screws. So let's put a constructor here. Oh, am I going to have enough room for the constructor? <gasps> Just barely. Just barely. Oh no, we're going to have to put it off center. Oh, it's going to kill me. Oh man, that's going to just utterly destroy me. No oh, rod. Ah, screw. Fucker. And let's give Let's give these guys their own line. Actually, let's... I'll give them their own line. We'll just stick it up over here. There. And now, everything should die. Oh, everything's not dying. That's interesting. Oh, I don't have enough plates for a bio-burner. And that should ev allow everything to operate. 
There, or back up. Yay! Milestone reached. Biofuel Ooh, that's pretty. Will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. Jesus, that's pretty. Okay, let's steal back all of our uh, biomass. There we go. And we need to make our run it undone. Run it undone. There we go. And we will need some stuff for that. More screws. Tell me you have at least some screws. Ugh. I hate everyone. A run it undone takes less... Uh, takes more resources than, than a, um, a constructor. Makes, makes no sense. Where are you? Let me see you. Yay! Space stuff. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. Okay, let's choose another um, thing to open up. So we're probably going to go for uh, splitters and mergers because that's the next important thing. Um, and then we can expand out uh, production of copper and of iron stuff. Uh, we don't need this. We don't need the MAM yet. I want to open this up eventually because I will want to move things around. Assembler can wait. Jump pads are stupid. Awesome sink can wait. And tier 2 can wait because that's going to be uh, much later. So... We're going to have the uh, this tier. First, let's get these knocked out. Okay, now let's split up our um, fuel. So let's... How do you split again? No, that's not how you split. Or right mouse button. Okay, there we go. Left mouse button. Or right mouse button. Whatever it's called. And 92 into this one. And... Eh, whoop, no, we can't do that. I need a little bit of this fuel back. There we go. Because I need some to uh, run the run it undone on. So, I think we're in good shape right now. Uh, how are you performing? Ooh, you. How far down are you? Ooh, we were just in time. I didn't grab this one for some reason. There. That's pretty much full. And then we can just... There we go. That's full. And we'll see how copper's doing up here. Copper probably does not have a lot finished on it. Let's just grab this. That's been underneath the terrain for as long as I can remember. Uh, we will automate... Or semi-automate the uh, the bio fuel process by making a couple of uh, constructors just to uh, process the leaves and stuff into mass and then into fuel. Oh, we got quite a bit here. That's good. And we don't really have much wire, but that's not a big, 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 big deal. We are overproducing a little bit. That's fine. Once we get the um, balancers uh, up and running, uh, that will be fine over there. And we'll have, like, surplus wire and cable. Let's come down here. And we probably don't have a whole pile of screws, but we'll look at the screws anyways. Yeah, we got 72 screws. That's fucking horrible. Uh, this is processing 15 per minute. 
This is outputting 30 per minute. 30. And this is outputting 60, so we can balance this one out pretty good. And that one's that one's easy to balance. So, before we uh, go to our uh, post-mission wrap-up, uh, let's play with the run of done done a little. <laughs> And we will defoliate around here a bit, even though it's in the in the tank gas. <laughs> okay, let's hold a breath. I'm such a child. Okay, so we got a few, um, few things to process here, and we played with the run of done done a little. We'll get back to the hub. Or first, first, we'll fix our our first mistake here. First biggest mistake is so it. Uh, we have to move the whole hub, but it doesn't matter. I, I need to absolutely fix this, or else my brain will eat itself. There. Now that should be close enough that we walk over it, and it's not gonna... Yeah, it's not too bad. There we go. Perfect. Now let's go on to the post-mission uh, post brief. So, we haven't gotten too terribly much done. Um, we have set up a, uh, a copper mine with some refinement and um, getting down to cables. Uh, normally, I would put a storage unit on the end of that, but that's going pretty slow that we don't need to do that right now. Uh, we have our uh, limestone and concrete uh, factory or offset over here working nicely. And then a small uh, um, iron uh, line over here. And then we have our one extra uh, bio burner over here. And our two little nodes, but uh, these these guys, uh, if you haven't guessed, uh, they've been built because they're going to be used to uh, make uh, mining rigs on either side of that one. I think it's here and here, or it's here and here. I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, that's where those are going to go. And but we haven't really explored that large of an area. I guess uh, we started off over here, and I wandered right straight past where I wanted to go, and then wandered back. And I don't know how this spot got opened up here, but or here. I guess I kind of looked at them or something. Uh, but next time, uh, we will just be expanding out the uh, base of operations uh, from where it is now. And we will also probably get the, um, the uh, bootstrap plant put in over here. Um, because I think that's opened up in the next two tiers, uh, but we still need to make a temporary uh, elevator, which will probably go over here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure. But that's it. And uh, see you later.